Every now and again, something happens that lights up your whole day. And today was one of those days. I was at a networking meeting first thing this morning. Haven't been out on the networking scene for a little while and thought, I don't normally go to this one, I'll pop in. So within about 10 minutes of walking into the room, I bumped into a chap and introduced myself. And he said, I remember you, John, from a couple of years ago when you did a seminar down at such and such a venue. And I said, oh, right. He said, and you gave me a book that really has turned my whole business around. I said, really? He said, yes, it was your book, How to Build a Business That Creates Wealth. He said, I was a couple of years into my franchise business. And to be honest, I was really, really struggling. And of course, when you're networking, you never really share that, obviously, because you don't want everyone to know you're struggling. You want them to think that you're doing well. And I said, well, of, of course, that's what everybody in the room is doing. But the bottom line was he was struggling. And it was at that point where he was thinking of throwing the towel in. He'd been two years in, wasn't getting the flow of customers that he really wanted that would essentially fund his business and his lifestyle. And it was in reading the book and reading about some of the struggles and the challenges that I'd had in my business life that gave him that little bit of momentum to push forward. So I couldn't help but smile because you just never know when something that you did some years ago has touched a life and made a difference. And so this short piece really is about keep going, no matter how tough it may seem at this moment, no matter how big a challenge it appears to be in building your business and getting customers, attracting them to you to create the revenue that creates the cash flow that eventually gets you to where you want to go, just keep those blinkers on, keep plowing forward, read as much as you possibly can. Personal business development is the element of starting and building a business that can make all the difference. And by watching those YouTube tutorial videos and reading books and going to networking events, running into people that are sharing the knowledge, I promise you, if you just keep that dogged determination, you will eventually succeed. And for all of you business coaches out there, keep going, keep pushing and keep sharing the knowledge because just like as in today, you just don't know whose life you touched at a certain point in time that hopefully, albeit X number of years later, they come back to you and they say, do you know what, that made the difference. It was a difference that stopped me from giving up, from pushing forward. So as I say, I just wanted to share that with you. And story number two, I was talking to a lovely young lady who has finished her degree, she's got a job, she's a couple of years into that, and she's still not quite sure about which direction to go in. So we were having a good conversation about what she's done, what she's achieved, and what she's hoping to achieve within her current position. And I asked the question that I ask everybody, so where are you going to? What, what's, what's your true path? What's your destiny within your career and what you want to do? And she looked at me, it stopped her for a moment. And she said to me, I don't know. She said, I'm not sure where the next part of my journey is. It's, so I said to her, well, okay, what do you really want to do? She went, oh, I don't know. I said, well, you'll need to know. You absolutely have to reverse engineer everything that you do in your career or business, finding out what you really want, what your passions are, are really the first rung of that ladder because you can't climb to the heights that you're capable of unless you know where that ladder's going to. So I set her a task and I'm sharing this story hoping that there might be one or two people out there that this might make all the difference to them. And that is work out what you really want. Be limitless in your perspective of what you might be able to achieve because your future destiny is not dictated by your current circumstances. Your future destiny is really governed about your thought patterns, your mindset of where you want to go. So if you are to go limitless, you can achieve limitless things. So 
just a quick one for you. It just really inspired me today to have run into two people at very different points in their career. One that had had a challenge, had overcome that, and is now starting to see the fruits of all their labor and all the challenges that come with building any business, and meeting another person who's really on the first part of her journey. So I hope there's something in there that will help at least one person out there to think, do you know what, I'm gonna push another little bit harder. So that's it. I look forward to talking to you soon.